Alabama police tase an unarmed black male to death. Put up the picture, full mass. Let me give you the background to this insanity. Jawan Dallas, 36 years of age, has been tased to death by the Alabama police despite being unarmed and subdued after being falsely suspected of a burglary of a mobile home he was nowhere near. His attorney says he was tased the moment he exited his vehicle where he then collapsed complaining of chest pain. This is where officers tased Jawan a second time until he died. According to attorney Harry Daniels, an unnamed eyewitness says Dallas was 100 yards from the scene of the reported burglary, was startled by the police and was tased the moment he exited his vehicle. Attorney Daniels also claims the witness said Dallas fell to the ground after the first tasing, grabbed his chest and complained of chest pains. But officers tased him again until he stopped moving, according to a statement released by the law firm. Despite witness statements, Mobile Police Department has recounted a different set of events contrary to witness statements that conveniently looks better for their officers, prompting a call for police body cam footage to be released and be released now. The Mobile Police narrative claims, and I quote, Dallas attempted to grab the taser from the officer. After a brief struggle over the weapon, the officer regained control and again tased the suspect. Jawan Dallas wasn't even near the scene, but these officers decided that he was a suspect and tased him until he died. Attorney Daniel said, this isn't speculation. This is an eyewitness statement. And if the Mobile Police Department wants to dispute, they need to release the body cam video. Jawan Dallas wasn't a threat and should not have been a suspect. But they killed him anyway, put his picture back up. This is a man who simply was inside of his car. Police ambush him wrongfully. He did not commit burglary, nor was he attempting to. He was not at the location of alleged burglary. But the officers did not do the thing that they are commissioned to do, which is investigate. Make sure you have probable cause. They tase him, that is not in question. He falls to the ground, that is not in question. He complains of chest pains, according to the witnesses, not in question. While he's on the ground, Subdued, according to the witnesses, he's tased again until he's dead. I submit to you that it is quite possible that the reason he was tased again is because he said he had chest pains. Knowing that if you are in cardiac arrest, if you're experiencing chest pains while being electrocuted, Officers are well aware that you can in fact die under that circumstance. They are taught this during their training to become taser certified. What you may be looking at is something more sinister than gross negligence. We will give you the update as it develops. Jeff thoughts here. Yet no matter what this man's proximity was to the crime, no matter if he was indeed a suspect, he didn't deserve to die. And there's no excuse to not render aid to this man after what happened. This is gross neglect. Yeah, all right, this story, as I said, is still developing. Harry Daniels, one of the best civil rights lawyers I've ever seen is on the case. They got the right one.